What's good? We back with the Boxing Clinic and more. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. One time for the one time we grinding. Shout out to the whole LDBC. Make sure y'all check out the description. All the social media links are there. Our Raw and Uncut podcast featuring the Kelly Enigma and myself. Check it out. Just click the link. You can either download the CastBox app or go through the web browser. Sign up with your Facebook or Google account. It's that easy. at the click of a button and go ahead and enjoy them 11 episodes we got recorded. We got some more on the way as well. And check out our new college sports page, S1210 College Sports Most Wanted. That link's in the description as well. And if you want to donate, that link's in the description as well. All right. We back. And um, apparently Terrence Crawford, Danny, well, Terrence Crawford got a problem with Danny Garcia. And, um... It must have been a recent interview. I'm not sure if it was this is 50 interview because I didn't finish watching the whole thing. Um, but he's been saying stuff like that. I got an uh, interview link that I can link from my Facebook page and to hear. You can hear some uh, thoughts on Danny Garcia. This was about a year ago. All right. And more tongue boxing, dude. More tongue boxing. This is exactly what it is. It's more tongue boxing. You know, Crawford, you know, is comparing his resume to Danny Garcia resume. Let me, let me tell you something here. Terrence Crawford, you should be one of the last guys, you know, nitpicking people resume. But let's get into it. He said Danny Swift, you know, Garcia, that's his Twitter handle. Danny Garcia, he ain't tweeted in a minute, for real. Um, keep saying everybody need to fight each other like mf -er, You fight me. I would say after you fight. Uh, but then again, I don't even know if you're going to win this fight. You real life must have bumped your head and lost your mind. Like you don't know who I really am. And... And uh, at the end of the day, um, I'm I'm not pretty sure what sparked this. I haven't seen too many interviews, but like I said, I got an interview with him, really, really going in on Crawford, you know. And I'll link it into the description. It's from about a year ago. Shout out to Villain Five Media, where Danny Garcia is is saying that you know he don't understand where Crawford get all this hype from. He said everything that he did at 140 was better than the way Crawford did, but he don't he don't get no no credit like Crawford get credit for. It. He said Crawford was always headstrong. He's a good fighter. And he said he moved up to 147, get a belt. He would consider him being one of the best out there. And he did that. You know, he did do that. He did give him credit. But he said he, he don't understand the hype. You know, he don't. And I don't understand. I'm not saying I don't understand the hype. But I don't understand, you know, Crawford. I do. You didn't fight nobody at 140 for real. You know what I'm saying? You you trying to pass judgment on people's resumes, though. Your shit ain't the, your shit ain't the hottest. Danny Garcia resume is by far... Better than Terrence Crawford resume. It's not even. It's not even close. You talking about wins and losses? Only one loss with Keith Thurman. That's better. I mean, that's a better win. Than, than, that's a better fight than Terrence Crawford ever had. So what? I mean, I don't understand. You know what? You know what he think? But he said, "Yo, Danny, look, you uh, you didn't do what I did at 140. I was undisputed. Something you never, you, know, you never fought the guy you were scared to fight. He came up to welterweight in the first fight, and I fight, and I fought a champion." Uh, I didn't need no tune up or get a belt, get handed a belt. For one, you fought Jeff Horn. You got handed a belt. What is he talking about? He fought Jeff Horn. That ain't the end all be all. You ain't come and fight nobody that that was extraordinary. You know what I'm saying? He act like he came up the welterweight and beat Keith Thurman and walked away with a belt or two. Like, well, I mean, is this dude delusional? Is he delusional, dog? This motherfucker act like he be like he like he be the who's who like he be Kazu Vernon Forrest Floyd Mayweather, you know at lightweight he be the prime Roberto Duran Chavez uh, Senior, you know what I'm saying? He talking like this dude and like oh, I'm undisputed, dude. In most people's opinion, man, you one of the worst undisputed champions of all time. Period. Period. You ain't. I mean, come on. This dude be. Oh, I'm gonna read this last one. I can go on and on about your resume as well, talking about who I be. Only person I give you credit for is Amir Khan. That's all. The others get no no points, no nothing for no uh, no points for none or them. What is he talking about? What is he talking about? I mean, Kendall Hart was better than eight ninety percent of his resume at the time. What is this dude talking about? Is this dude on dope? Dude, you be Derry John, Hank Lundy, Thomas Delorme. Come on, bro. Come on, dog. You know what I'm saying? Who, uh, uh, Felix Diaz, John Molina. Felix Diaz, a solid win. Victor Postal. Yeah, Danny Garcia paid Victor Postal to step aside, but that didn't stop him from getting undisputed. It didn't. 
He didn't get undisputed because Lucas Matisse didn't elect to fight Lamont Peterson for the IBF because because uh he didn't want Danny Garcia ducking him. And Danny Garcia went and fought him. And that's the story. And for whatever reason, they didn't fight, he didn't fight Lamont Peterson at 1-4. They fought at the catch weight. I mean, this dude acting like he did the greatest thing at 140. He ain't did shit, even at 35. Gamboa? You weren't even supposed to get touched by Gamboa. I mean, these dudes out here tongue boxing, ridiculing, you know, throwing rocks when they live in the glass house. Crawford, you ain't did did this shit. Danny Garcia resume better than yours. That's a fact. You acting like you you beat the, you beat the greatest list of one forty to one thirty five pounds. You didn't, dog. You didn't. There's still questions about you. It is. You know what I'm saying, Danny Garcia, and he already said, "Oh, I don't want to fight Terrence Crawford." All right, we already know we 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 already know Danny Garcia, punk. We know that Terrence Crawford. So you ain't got to get on the internet to distract us from the real reason why you're trying to distract us from is that you're going to fight Jose Benavidez. These dudes get to sign up to fight, fight guys and then get to talking about other guys they ain't even going to fight. Danny Garcia said, I'm not interested in fighting him. He said it multiple multiple times. Oh, nah, I won't fight. I won't fight Terrence Crawford. We already know Danny a punk. So what are you trying to prove here? You ain't doing nothing but exposing yourself. You know, you talking about, oh, 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 one of the dudes was like, uh, oh, Nate Campbell, he, he was old. The fuck is you talking about? Look at your resume at 140. Julius Ndongo, John Molina, you got the audacity to talk about somebody. See, I ain't going to be like these other channels and try to, uh, you know, try to beat around the bush. Hell no. Why is you even talking? I'm going to go to 140. I didn't need no tune-up. Jeff Horn is a tune-up. He a tune-up. Fuck is you talking about? That's a tune up, bro. You nigga, you act like you went up there and beat Earl of Keith. You know what I'm saying? You act like you you act like you know Bob Aaron actually gonna let you fight Danny Garcia. Or or is it you really don't want to fight the PBC fighters? We heard Timothy Bradley, you know, say, you know, seven eight say I could have fought him if I wanted to fight him. Then he said, I don't feel like I gotta fight PBC fighters. Came back and say he got our game back, like, oh I'll fight him, then retired. Come on, dog. Dude, you on the leash. You don't control your own career. You don't control your destiny. So you out here talking, looking stupid, and to everybody else, does everybody know you you answer. You answer to somebody. You signed to the boss because you ain't kind of the boss. You can't, you ain't even the boss. So you out here, you know, oh, I'm the pound for pound. You ain't no real pound for pound champion. Nobody look at you like Roy Jones or Sugar Ray Leonard. Nobody look at you like Manny Pacquiao, Floyd May. Nobody look at you like that. You got a lot of work to do. But you fighting Jose Benavidez, you got the audacity to talk about Danny Garcia before you about to fight Sean Porter. But you fighting Jose Benavidez. You going to be fighting Adamas. And then you going to be trying to fight old ass Amir Khan. Nigga, Matisse was better at that point than anybody you fought on your resume. Matisse just took a lot of damage before the postal fight. He fought Provodnikov too before the postal fight. He had a war with John Molina. A real war. Shit, Zab Judah was better than Lundy. Better than DeLorme. Better than John Molina. Better than Ricky Burns. Better than Klimov. Better than, the, than DeLorme. Oh, most of all of them, except for Postal. He's better than Julius Sandago at the time. Shit, Eric Morales, old ass. The first fight was better than 70% or shit, 80% of Terrence Crawford resume. All oh, this dude out here talking shit like this nigga got the platinum, a triple platinum diamond resume. Man, shut the front door. Sit your ass in Omaha and go and go listen to what Bob Aram tell you to do, boy. You know what it is, man. It's the Boston Clinic and more. Make sure you check those links out in the description. Let me know what you feel. Let me know how you feel. I'm going to link that uh, interview with Danny Garcia from a minute ago back in the description. Shout out to the whole LDBC. We working. Go to shopfightfan.com, get you a t-shirt, get you about three or four of them hoes, support with Black Fight Fan over there doing it. Check it out, man. One time for the one time. Y'all know what the business is. We gone.